Hello everybody, I'm Jeffrey Przinski and I'm back trying to get another game working for the Mac. This time it's Star Trek Legacy. So as you can see here, I've already got it installed in Crossover uh, over here and I just wanted to walk you through how easy it is to install this game to get it running on your Mac. Now I'm running on Mac OS Big Sur and uh, I'm using the latest version of Crossover. Uh, which is, let me double check this for you really quick, 20.0.2. Uh, and it's super simple. What I've done is I've gone to old games uh, and uh, downloaded the game Star Trek Legacy. Uh, they gave an ISO file. I've uh, transferred that into a .dmg file. Uh, there's some conversion software that you can use, whatever uh, you feel comfortable with. But just to show you how simple it is, you just simply open up the .dmg file, it's going to find it, you're going to open up the setup.exe file, and I'm going to put a star trek legacy, and I'm just going to put a you know, demo or something like that, or hmm, what should I call this, uh, uh, install. Okay. Now it's an unlisted application, so you're going to have to select this. Now the bottle, I left it as a Windows 7 bottle. You're just going to simply then go install and finish. It's going to go through its process. And from there it's a simple, okay, hit the next button, hit the next button. Here's the install shield wizard already coming up. And for some odd reason, I noticed it's hanging at the computing space requirements. Don't worry. Simply allow it to go through and give it some time. Okay? I'm not exactly sure why it's taking this long, but just give it some time. While we're waiting, I guess I could just talk about... I guess I could talk a little bit more about the game. I have not ever played this game. I remember when it came out, I was with some friends, and I'm like, hey, I'm kind of interested in this. Oh, here we go. Uh, accept the terms. Next. Next. Install. Uh, I was with some friends. I'm like, hey, I'm kind of interested in this game. I'm not sure if I should actually, you know, shell out the money for it or anything. What do you think of it? And we played a little bit on the Xbox 360 version. And at that time, I think I was starting to get out of video games a little bit. I, I was into some video games, but really not too much. So I this one in particular kind of just got away from me. But I am ex super excited to play this. I'm, um, you know, I, just because I've never played this at all before. So uh, I'm excited to try to give this a playthrough for 2021 and see where we go from there. Again, this is going to hang on copying new files. Again, don't worry about it. Just give it some time, and you'll be all set and ready to go. Okay, there we go. Finish. Let it finish this up. And there you go. Just simply hit done. Now, you will notice here that there are some patches. I've gone ahead and I've installed all uh, all of these already into uh, the bottle. However, just wanted to show you how you can install these patches. So let's start off with version 1.1. This is what I did. I did 1.1, 1.2, and then the unofficial 1.3 patch. So that's the game. That's the version of the game that I will be playing. So just to show you how I do this is you simply. I'm still in the download that came with from old games. Came with all the patches. Just simply double click to open up. Uh, you can give it whatever name you want. So I'm, I'm going to do Star Trek Legacy uh, install patch one. Select unlisted application. Here's where you have to select the bottle. You're going to have to go into the bottle itself. And we're using Star Trek Legacy install. So I'll go ahead and select that. Hit continue. It's going to not select this directory, but it's going to select this one down here. And you'll go to install. 
and in just a moment, here we go. English goes through the uh, wizard, hit next, next, install, done. And then you simply repeat that exact same process, making sure that you select the proper bottle and you will get your game all the way up to version 1.3. Again, what I did was 1.1, then 1.2, then 1.3. So I'm gonna go ahead just to open this up really quick to show you that it does indeed run. There we go. And let's just skip on through to this. And here we go. Okay, all right. Well, uh, I hope that you have a good time getting this working for your Mac. I'm looking forward to playing through this game. All right, see you all next time.